China zal Suriname blijven ondersteunen om niet alleen uit de crisis te geraken, maar meer ontwikkeling te brengen voor land en volk. Zo sprak de Chinese ambassadeur Hang Ying gisteren tijdens een receptie in verband met de 73ste verjaardag van de Volksrepubliek China. Hang Ying gaf aan dat Suriname en China elkaar altijd hebben ondersteund bij nationale aangelegenheden. China is providing our assistance to Suriname within our capacity. For example, uh, I would like to raise one uh, example that now China will help Suriname to set up an agricultural technique center, which already been agreed by two governments. And actually the group of the Chinese experts has already arrived in Suriname. I think before long, these uh, centers could uh, uh, put into operation will help the development of agriculture and the related business in Suriname. This is only just a small example. In other fields, at risk, that China will uh, also like to borrow our sincere uh, helps and assistance. I think this has uh, two different channels. One is uh, multilateral. As the president mentioned uh, during his uh, speech, that Chi uh, Suriname uh, negotiate with uh, uh, plans, assistance plans with MF. President Chandrika Prasad Santoki haalde aan dat China en Suriname een goede band met elkaar hebben. Sinds de eerste Chinese immigranten in Suriname arriveerden in 1853. De twee landen zullen dan ook een goede band blijven behouden waarbij er sprake is van wederzijds respect. The government of Suriname attaches great importance to the continued development of China-Suriname relations aimed at deepening political dialogue and enhancing mutually beneficial ties in traditional areas as well as in new areas of cooperation. This all based on the firm foundations of historical and traditional friendship working while working towards a shared future for humanity. This friendship was also demonstrated in the spirit of solidarity in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic and its adverse effects on our economies and people. In October 2022, we will commemorate the 169th anniversary of Chinese immigration to Suriname. This significant contribution of the Chinese diaspora to the socio-economic development of our country is evident of which the role of our friendship associations and related organizations in strengthening people-to-people -people exchanges are a prime example. De president stond ook stil bij de hulp die China in verschillende landen biedt voor verbetering van de situatie van mensen.